You guys have been sending me a lot of excellent suggestions, so I figured it is time to get cracking on that list. This one is from Daniel Kleiner, who wrote this. Doug, I watch every one of your Tone Master Pro videos. I was a Fractal Axe FX and Helix Floor user for years, but I am now using the Tone Master Pro for gigging. My suggestion for a video is how to use an independent effects unit in the Tone Master Pro's effects returns and with MIDI. My specific situation, I would like to add effects from a Line 6 Helix 1 or an Eventide H90 to my presets in the Tone Master Pro. Can I run certain Helix slash Eventide patches before the Tone Master Pro amps, like compressors and overdrives, and other patches after the amp, like modulation, delay, and reverb? If so, can you tell me step by step how to do this? In addition, how do I program the Tone Master Pro to activate the Helix Eventide preset changes with my programming on the Tone Master Pro? Thank you, Daniel. This was a rather timely request because I had been thinking about picking up an HX1 to use for doing some of the tutorials. It's a nice little unit and they were on sale, so I picked one up. Now I haven't had a lot of time to learn the functionality of the HX1 and that's really not what this video is about. This video is about using MIDI, an external FX unit, and Loop 3. That's, that's pretty much what this video is going to be about. Before we get into all of that, I'm sure some of you are wondering, why would you want an HX1? Well, in my case it's for tutorials, but for guys that are gigging, look at it like this. The Tone Master Pro has about everything you need, but you are going to run across some songs that need a certain effect that the Tone Master Pro simply does not have. Now, if you have like three or four songs like that, are you going to go out and buy three or four new pedals just for one part of a song? <laughs> no need to do that. Get a multi-effects unit like the HX1. Like I said, it's on sale right now. And you can add that before the amp. You can add it after the amp because of the digital loop. Now, if you want to, you can go stereo using FX Loop 4 as well. But that is not the scope of this video. If you're interested, Drop me a line and I will see if I can come up with something. Now between the Tone Master Pro and the HX1, you can use preset MIDI on the Tone Master Pro to switch presets on the HX1 as soon as you step on the Tone Master Pro's foot switch for that preset. The HX1 comes with 250 effects that you can save in 128 different preset slots. It also comes with 128 pre-programmed presets, which is what I'm going to use. Now, Daniel asked for a step-by-step -step tutorial. Before we get into that, we'd better take a look at the gear that we need to make these connections. Like I said, for this video, we are going to use the HX1 in mono mode, and we're going to use FX Loop 3. Now, first, we need to make sure we have the right cables to connect the two units. You need a 5-pin MIDI cable, and you need two quarter inch cables as well. Make sure that both units are turned off. Take one end of the five pin MIDI cable and plug it into the MIDI out on the Tone Master Pro and take the other end and plug it into the MIDI in on the HX1 because you'll be sending commands out of the Tone Master Pro and into the HX1. Now take one of the quarter inch cables Plug one end into the Tone Master Pro's Loop 3 Send and connect the other end to the left slash mono in jack on the HX1. Now take the other quarter inch cable, plug one end into the Loop 3 Return Jack and plug the other end into the left slash mono out jack on the HX1. Now that the two units are connected to each other, you can turn them on. You'll need to run through the listing of all the presets on the HX1 and make notes of which ones you want to use with your presets on the Tone Master Pro. For this tutorial, I picked out four FX presets on the HX1. Preset 006, Trinity Chorus, we're placing it after the amp. Preset 013, Poly Pitch, we're placing that before the amp. Preset 14, 
three oscillator synth. We're also placing that before the amp. And preset 034, OB-WA. We're placing that one after the amp. Let's open up the Pro Control app and I will show you the four very simple presets I put together to demonstrate this. All of these presets are set up to be very simple and they're named after the HX1 preset that's being used. Now I'll be using the 65 Deluxe Reverb Blonde Amp and the Stereo Tape Echo. I'll also be using FX Loop 3, which is a digital loop. This is a mono setup and the FX block needs to be placed before the amp in two presets and after the amp in the other two presets. We'll also be using MIDI PC or program change commands. We could also use CC commands to change various parameters in the HX1 presets, but we can look at that in another video. Leave me a comment if this is something that you'd like to see. Now let's take a look at the preset settings for the first preset, which is called HX1 Preset 6. That uses the Trinity Chorus and it's after the amp. So we click on Preset MIDI. We're using MIDI Channel 1 because the HX1 defaults to MIDI Channel 1. Now the program change is 7, but the HX1 preset is preset 006. So why would that be? Well, different manufacturers use different listing techniques. The HX1 starts off at preset 000, which on the Tone Master Pro would be listed as MIDI PC1. It's, it's really no big deal. It's just something to be aware of. So this is the first preset. Let's go back. HX1 preset 13 uses the FX loop before the amp. This is using the poly pitch. And if we look at the preset settings and go to preset MIDI, see, even though it's using HX1 preset 13, we set it to program change 14. Now this one actually is HX1 preset 14, and it too is before the amp. Preset 14 is the three oscillator synth. And if we take a look at the preset settings, you should probably be able to guess what the preset MIDI program change is. Yep, 15. And we'll do the last one here. HX1 preset 034, which is the Obiwa. I placed that after the amp. It could be placed probably before the amp, but just for this test, I placed it after the amp. Now let's go to preset settings, preset MIDI. There it is, program change 35 even though it's HX1 preset 34, the Obi-Wa. Okay, now let's put together a new preset. Now I could just copy one of the other HX1 presets and edit it, but let's start from scratch. We open a new blank preset. First thing to do is add the amp of your choice. As usual, I will add the 65 Deluxe Reverb Blonde. Hit the blue confirm and click on the right plus. Go to effects. Go to Delay, Stereo Tape Echo. I'm going to some of my block presets. I'm going to choose Big Al. Click on Confirm. Okay, now we click on the plus sign on the left side. Click on FX Loops down here. Now FX Loop 1 and FX Loop 2, those are analog. They can only be the first block in a preset. FX Loop 3 and FX Loop 4 are digital and they can be moved anywhere. So we are choosing FX Loop 3 because it's a mono preset. Hit Confirm. Now you have to decide which preset you're going to use on the HX1. I'm going to use preset 65, Reverse Delay. Now going back to the preset here, click on Preset Settings, click on Preset MIDI, select MIDI Channel 1, that's the default for the HX1. Now click on Program Change and set it to 66. Remember, we have to go one number higher than the HX1. Leave MIDI CC number off. Hit the back arrow, hit the back arrow again. Save your preset, HX1 preset 65, and click on save. That's how easy it is, guys. Okay, now I'll demo these five presets for you. So I'm starting off away from the HX1 presets and so you can see how it switches on the HX1 unit itself. This is my 1.3.74 new effect test preset with nothing running, it's just this. 
Okay, now let's switch to HX1 preset 6. Okay, now let's switch to HX1 preset 13. Okay, now let's switch to HX1 preset 14. Okay, now let's try HX1 preset 034. <laughs> Now let's try HX1 preset 65, the one that we built. Now let me remind you, the Tone Master Pro is a fantastic standalone unit, and most of you guys will not need any other equipment hooked up to it. But for those that do, the HX1 is a great, fairly inexpensive and small unit that can really expand your palette of effects for the Tone Master Pro. Add a MIDI cable, and these two units can work together seamlessly changing presets on the HX1 every time you change your preset on the Tone Master Pro. And of course, you can place the HX1 anywhere in the signal path, thanks to the flexibility of loops 3 and 4. Daniel, I hope this was the step-by-step -step tutorial you wanted. And if you're still here, thank you so much for stopping by and sticking around. I really do appreciate it. 
If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, drop me a line right down here and I will get to them as soon as I possibly can. Now this Friday, I will have all new content. You don't want to miss that. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button and ring that notification bell. All right, guys, have a great week, and I'll be talking with you again on Friday.